Hello and welcome to Madani Facial Plastics. Today we will be discussing mini lifts versus facelifts. I hope the information presented here will shed a little light and clarity on this subject. I am Dr. Madnani and I'm a double board certified physician here in New York. I have practice locations in both Manhattan and on Long Island. Why facial rejuvenation? Patients come to us for a myriad of reasons. Fundamentally, there is little we can do to fight the effects of aging and gravity in our face and neck. And that's where the facelift consideration surfaces when other options have been exhausted. Here's a before and after picture of a 57 year old patient who underwent a lower facelift. You can see her jawline and upper neck are well contoured afterwards, and she looks much more youthful and refreshed. The difference between a mini lift and a facelift depends on the length of the incision placed around the ear and the amount of skin treated or undermined. Here you can see the white dotted line shows where the facelift incision is placed. It goes along the hair tuft and along the natural lines of the ear. And for the mini lift, it's a shorter incision, as you can see over here, that just follows the line of the ear. As these incisions are also carried behind the ear and into the hairline, the facelift incision here is the white dotted line. You can see it extends into the crease behind the ear and onto the back of the hairline while the mini lift incision is maintained between the posterior ear crease. Concerning the amount of skin that's undermined or treated during the procedure, with the lower facelift, there's a larger area of skin that's able to be treated. And because of that, a larger area of the SMAS layer is also able to be tightened. While with the mini lift, a smaller area of skin is undermined and treated. And because of that, a smaller area of the SMAS layer is also treated. Candidates for mini lift versus facelift, in my eyes, patients who have mild to moderate lower face skin laxity, so on the younger end of the spectrum or on the younger end of the aging spectrum are good candidates for a mini lift. There's a slightly quicker recovery associated with a mini lift. However, that is debatable if you're gonna compare mini lift versus facelifts. There are also less involved techniques that can be applied to this mass layer while undergoing the mini lift. And that's just because of the space constraints produced by the smaller incision site. Both procedures can be performed under local anesthesia, and the best way to decide who's a good candidate or not is to have a frank discussion with your physician. Thank you for listening to this talk. I hope you found the information useful. We have plenty of before and after pictures and more information on all of our social media sites and our website. Please do contact us for any questions. We offer virtual and in-person consultations. In addition to facial rejuvenation surgery, we also offer a host of non-invasive or minimally invasive treatment options for facial rejuvenation.